So the procedure will be performed on the uh, conscious sedation. And for this, I have to occlude the right hepatic artery in order to uh, uh, achieve uh, 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 the entire vascularization of the liver through the, right, the medial hepatic artery. Allez, bloquez la respiration, monsieur, respirez plus. Bloquez, ne respirez plus. Respirez. No, I have cannulated the uh, uh, right hepatic artery with my microcatheter, and I will occlude this artery thanks to uh, uh, a coil. I will use um, 0 0.18 uh, tornado coil. We can see here that there is an uh, intrahepatic shunt. Thanks to this intraarterial hepatic shunt, we have now uh, the vascularization of the entire liver. We have a single artery here, the medial hepatic artery, that feeds the entire liver. We can see here the artery that came from the right hepatic artery that is occluded here. You can see here the contrast uh, thanks to the uh, intra-arterial shunt. We have here the port. This device for the subcutaneous channel uh, of the intruding catheter, and this to connect the intruding catheter to the port. Now the procedure is over. Uh, we have inserted the uh, intruding catheter. We can see here the catheter in the aorta with the loop here before an entry in the celiac trunk. Then the tip of the catheter is in the gastrodenal artery. The gastrodenal artery is occluded with coil here around it. We have a side hole perfusion located immediately before the uh, medial hepatic uh, artery. We have also coil in this branch, uh, pancreatic branch that we have occluded, and also in the right gastric artery. And these coils will avoid any uh, extrahepatic perfusion.